Pro today, I'm for two students on this Friday, the 15th. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, everybody listen up please for a second. Before I get into today's announcements, I want to talk to you about something. Please listen very carefully, okay? This is for everyone. Mrs. Twitchell did not come to me. I did not go to her. Yesterday, I was picking up my folder for your, um, from her for a geometry class, and I said in passing, hey, how are the classes going? How's Algebra 2 doing? I did not contact her to check up on you guys, nor did she seek me out to tell me. She, and she said, oh, it's going okay, but I could tell by her hesitancy that there were some things. So I sat down, I said, well, tell me what's going on. Now guys, listen, this is the third year I've done this Algebra 2 class, third, every year. So you guys are not special. Every year I've had to make probably two or three lectures throughout the course of a school year to the Algebra 2 students. It's normal. I'm not mad, okay? If you're a student who thinks it's cool to cause problems, then don't get arrogant. You're not, this is not the first time it's happened. If you're a student that doesn't like to get in trouble, don't get discouraged. It's nothing serious. But I need you guys to do some, th to do some things for me. First of all, come to class prepared. Mrs. Twitchell is a great teacher, okay? Miss Carroll was a new teacher. It was tough on her. Mrs. Mrs. Twitchell was an experienced, great teacher. Now, she's trying to figure out Berean. My first year at Berean, you guys were in the fifth grade, okay? And I taught at Berean. My voice was normal. I taught full time, okay? Uh, my first year there, when you guys were in fifth grade, I had to figure out Berean. There are rules. Some rules are spoken. Some are understood. Some rules are written, but teachers really don't mind those rules. You do stuff like that. You have to be careful, okay, and figure things out. Well, that's what Mrs. Twitchell is doing, okay? Same thing years ago. Years ago, Josh, you weren't even born yet. Michael was about six months old. I taught at GPS, all-girls school. I was a substitute teacher, and I was their on-site tutor. Students came to me for help on their math. Totally different school. I had to figure out the school, know um, what was normal, what was not normal. Anytime you switch schools, that's how it is, okay? Taught at Tennessee okay. Temple, 14 years, same thing. So guys, listen, when I was an on-site teacher, just so you know, if you were on time and you had to leave my room to get something, I counted you tardy. That was my rule. My definition of being on time was in the room before the bell rings with all of your stuff, okay? So, you need to come to room with all your stuff. Pencil, notebook, book, calculator, devices, and here's the big one, earbuds. Don't forget those. Now, if you do, and Mrs. Twitchell gives you a tardy, don't argue with her. That's her call. She's the teacher. By the way, no one has argued with her, okay? I'm just saying don't do that, okay? She's the teacher. She's in charge, okay? Um, having said that, uh, be on time. Listen, guys, do your work. She says, that she's told me that some of you just sit there. Look, I told you you're welcome to do this math at home. And I told you, if you have something else to work on, that's fine. But you really should be doing work. Now, if you're able to fake, if you're able to fake it, okay, and not disturb class, I can't say for sure. I don't think Mrs. Twitch would really care, okay? I don't think she's the type to get up, walk to the back of the room, and see what you're doing. Now, if you have your book open and you're on your computer and you're watching YouTube videos or ESPN or whatever, and you laugh out loud, sure, she might come back there and look. 
guess what? That's your fault. By the way, you should never skip the intro video. Never. Okay? You walk in the room, the first thing you do is listen to the intro video. After that, be sharp, be mature, be quiet. Okay? If some of you are doing your work at home, I get that. But guys, if we have to cancel this class, you're ruining it for this year and for next year's students. That's selfish, okay? Be sharp. I will check with her later and see how things are going. All right, quiz on Monday. We'll go over that in a couple minutes. At this time, please turn your homework in from yesterday. Some of you did already. That's fine. Incomplete. There are none. Today, we're going to work on homework and take notes. Now, the homework you're going to do covers yesterday's material. All right, there it is. Okay, there it is. There's the help video. When you're finished with this assignment, I want you to take notes on this assignment here. Okay? Now, yes, um, I am giving you a little more work than usual. I admit that about 10 minutes more, but guys, I don't usually do that. I'm really good about staying on um, schedule, but you do have a weekend, so every now and then, you will have to do a little more work. Now, the video today is about graphing absolute value equations. So far in this chapter, we have graphed linear equations and linear inequalities. Now, we're moving to absolute value equations. I did this the other day. I'm going to do it again. Let me pull up for a second and talk about the equations we're going to solve and graph this year. We are going to graph and solve um, linear equations, quadratic, graph and solve, cubic equations, quartic equations, absolute value equations, exponential equations, um, rational um, equations, cubed root, square root, so many. You've got to start now to recognize what type of equation you're dealing with and then know the steps for that type. It might be a really, it might be a really good idea for you to start a section in your notebook called Types of Equations. And maybe in the back of your notebook have a section where you have like the type. So you put, put the name. I'm using a mouse, so it's really hard to write. And then underneath it, give an example. Then write down the steps and have that in the back of your notebook so you can turn there any time and look up a certain equation. Okay? That might be a good idea. Alright? Sorry, I'm all over the place. Here we go. Okay, so moving on. Now, test corrections by Wednesday. Don't forget that. Test corrections are due by Wednesday. Lachlan, I'm encouraging you. I hope you've taken the time to compare your test to other students. It is identical. I just changed threes to eights, twos to fives, whatever. And I know how it happened. I just don't know how I printed it. Students, I give new tests every year. So on my computer, I have tests saved by the year. So the test I gave you this year is saved on my computer and it's under 2017. Okay, somehow I printed a copy, don't know how, of a different year. Okay, but um, Lachlan, if the test correction video does not help you find your mistakes, I will make a personal one for you. Please let me know. Here are the stats for Wednesday's quiz. First mistake, one point off. Second mistake, five points off. Every mistake thereafter, ten points off. Four A's, there were a couple F's, and a D. Okay, but overall pretty good. Josh, George, Landon, all 99's. Great job. Proud of you. All right. Um, Lachlan, highest grade in the class, 100. Awesome. Good job. I have made a, now listen carefully, I have made each of you a personal quiz video, except for three of you. Ethan, 
Hey, the Aunt Andrew, I'm putting you three on the same one. Guys, don't be resentful. Don't think I'm being um, impersonal. You guys missed the same ones, so it's easier to make one video for your three. On that video, I talk to each of you, okay? So don't be offended. By the way, some of you that usually make good grades, if you didn't, hey, you can't hit a home run every time you get up to bat. You're not going to score on every free kick you take in soccer. You're going to mess up, okay? Um, I drop the lowest quiz every nine weeks. You'll be fine. Bounce back, and we'll go from there. If I made a mistake on anyone's quiz, let me know. Now, Monday's quiz. Study all the homework problems from 2.4 and 2.5. Okay? Study those. That's all for today. Get to work on your homework and your notes. Have a great weekend. Contact me if you have any questions at all.